Okay, so I am going to try to use the word we in this sentence, in this video, but imagine it as the royal we or my family's we and not you and me unless you decide that this applies to you. At this point, I'm pretty sure everyone who's following me is from the budgeting community and already has one of these in place, but this is why we need a budget. I, 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 I wrote down my expenses, my bills and my income, right? And I said, it's my first budget. It's not, it's not because it's not because I had gone to do finances yesterday in the middle of the day. I do them once a week. I look at what receipts I have and I make sure that the receipts are in. I use Quicken, QuickBooks. I use a quick something, which is not quick by any means, by the way. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But I take a look at what transactions come through from my bank and I make sure all the receipts that I have for the transactions that haven't posted yet are in the quick whatever. And I pay any bills that are coming up. So what usually happens is the week we get paid, I pay two weeks of bills and that's all well and good. I thought we were fine, but then I'm looking at what Quicken QuickBooks says my balance is going to be. And it says my balance is going to be like negative something. I'm like, that's not supposed to happen. The reason that's not supposed to happen and why I am so confident that this shouldn't have happened is because in March, we finished paying off a debt management plan where I had over $53,000 worth of debt paid off in five years. And that freed up a $900 payment. That freed up $900. I should have $900 extra a month, which means I should be able to pay all the bills like I was before and have extra, <laughs> right? I did the thing where I have an automatic transfer to my personal checking of $100 per check. I thought I was gonna use it to save. Turns out this week I switched it back over. I needed to write a check for an activity that my child wants to do this summer. The money wasn't there and we don't have a ton of our savings. Like what happened to the money? What happened to the money? What happened to the money? It is gone. And this is why I need a budget because I was at home this week, right? I spent so much money working from home. Usually when I work from home, I don't go out. Thus, I don't buy things, but my son and I had lunch that was $30. Jersey Mike's, gotta love it, so good. It was worth it. I had to buy clothes for my youngest. I got fast food once, took my youngest before school to get drinks. I went and bought three bottles of wine for this weekend because it was a holiday weekend. Then also my son and I go do laundry every week and we end up buying ourselves lunch and ice cream. So that's like another 30, sometimes 40 bucks. Where did the money go? So that is why we, my family, need a budget. Clearly just writing down my income and my bills did not cut it. I had a fabulous other YouTuber, Ryan Collette, did a response video to my first budget and kind of helped spell out some things that might be helpful. I still don't understand how paying my bills, every bill, every two weeks, like paying half the bill every two weeks will save me money. I know that's how you get ahead because I've heard that done with mortgage payments before, but I don't understand how it's gonna save you money unless we're including that mysterious sometime, you know, extra few days that you won't have to pay bills. I don't understand, but I'm gonna write everything out again. When Ryan did that for me, he mentioned I hadn't put my student loans in. Well, no, cause student loan payments are on pause, but I, I should because they are a bill that's gonna come up and smack me in the nose here any month now. I didn't have, like, I, I use groceries as a category to include personal hygiene stuff and cleaning supplies, because I get it at the grocery store, so I count it as groceries. But I, maybe I need to split that stuff out. He mentioned a couple of their sinking funds, and I'm not sure I understand sinking funds yet either, because how do groceries get in sinking funds? Groceries feel like a bill to me. Maybe it's a not a sinking fund, maybe it's a variable expense. See, people use these words for their bills and it makes sense. When I try to apply them to my bills, no clue what's going on, no clue. So I need to figure this crap out. I need to get a budget that I follow and I did, I made, so I talked to my partner and I said, listen, if you have easy access to how much you're taking 
from your check and putting in your personal checking every paycheck change it to 100 bucks to match mine that will be our spending money for the week if it's not budgeted if it's not a bill if it's not groceries if it's not for the car you know gas oil change stuff like that 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 is in the budget for us it should be in the budget is it or not <laughs> i don't know anything fast food anything that's not for the cars or the house any personal spending for us should go on our personal debit cards because I need to get a handle on this damn budget and the way that I'm going to get a handle on the budget is if when I buy wine I pay for it with my personal checking when I go get my cafe con leche from Wawa I spend it on my personal debit card then it's separate I know how much I have I got a hundred dollars to do whatever I want with that's what it is for that's what that's what I do and I don't have to worry about those things like worry yeah yes I need to put them in the budget but <sighs> this is why we need a budget because I have no idea what happened I keep saying that but I just it baffles me how did this happen how do I not have any savings I have an extra $900 a month how do I not have savings how do I not have that savings where did it go admittedly I am also and this is not something that I wrote down on my my first budget which is <laughs> not a first budget for chicken scratches and a notepad regarding money. I didn't put down that we're still paying off taxes. So our tax bill was considerably higher than we expected. I need a tax professional next year. Thousand percent. I'm going to wrap this up. We need a budget. I'm sure everyone watching me has their crap pulled together better than I do. I am 45. I have never had a proper budget. I have only ever looked a handful of times and I don't mean five or less but I do mean like much less than I should have my income and my expenses to make sure that we could cover the bills I just this is the adulting probably the biggest adulting thing that I need help with is my budget but but here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something <laughs> I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm not gonna give up. I love the idea and I'm sort of embracing the idea right now that even though I wrote out a budget, I can write all that out again and kind of rearrange things or add categories if I need to. I can take a look at what I think I had and adjust it and change it and rewrite it three times if I need to because honestly when Ryan wrote everything down it made it make a whole lot more sense. I don't know why. I mean not more sense it just looked better. It, it did make more sense sort of. I downloaded that video so I could just like keep it and watch it and watch it and watch it in case he ever puts it private because he was talking about my money so I feel like if he makes it private but it was my money I should be able to keep it. I'm sorry if I'm not supposed to do that. I did that. Anyway, that's it the, for real this time. It is, I guess, a good day to reckon with your money. I don't know. I hope you are having a fabulous day. If you're not having a fabulous day, I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better. And I will see you the next time I have something that I've screwed up. Bye. Why, yes, I have hit record. <laughs> Thankfully.